Hello everybody, welcome to the lounge and today I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on how uh, my experimentation uh, with anti-aging is going. So a number of months ago I conducted an experiment, probably closer to a year ago now, where for three months I attempted to replicate uh, David Sinclair's anti-aging regimen and then I reported back to you guys on how it went. So the long and the short of it is that I didn't notice a big impact uh, from the regimen and I figured maybe it was because I was too young or something like that. Well, some of you have pointed out some major flaws in the way that I was doing things. Uh, first off, I was doing sort of a poor man's version of David Sinclair's uh, regimen because unlike him, uh, where he uses NMN, pure NMN, uh, nicotinamide mononucleotide, I was using the cheaper version, sort of the precursor to NMN, which is nicotinamide riboside, NR. Uh, but then I was making another serious mistake, which is I wasn't refrigerating my NR. You see, the nicotinamide mononucleotide and the nicotinamide riboside both need to be refrigerated. And while they are labeled with labels such as store below 25 Celsius away from direct heat and sunlight, I didn't realize that in fact it should be refrigerated all the time ideally until I watched a Dr. David Sinclair video where that was specifically uh, asked of him. As it turns out, if you don't refrigerate your NR or NMN, it's going to break down into simple nicotinamide and apparently that's not what you want. So in any case, I'm trying out the regimen again. I'm going to go for about six months this time. I will report to you guys at the end as well except this time I'm not going with a poor man's version of Dr. David Sinclair's uh, daily regimen I am actually going with a perfect version because this time I went to a company called uh, Eternum I guess they're based in uh, New Zealand or Australia or something and I obtained actual pure NMN uh, powder uh, so let me actually show you guys what I do now. I'll set up the camera and you'll see exactly what I take daily. Okay, here we are. So as before, I'm still taking a vitamin D and K. That hasn't changed. Uh, though I will say whatever vitamin D and K that you choose, make sure that it does have this label on it, GMP, uh, for good manufacturing practices. And also, I'm still using resveratrol, except now I'm using uh, 600 milligram tablets, and on certain days I take two of them, and on certain days I take one of them, uh, just based off of my weight and some of the instructions in uh, David Sinclair's book. That's how much resveratrol I need. And now the NMN. So this is the real NMN powder. Um, they test it for purity. There's only a handful of companies that really let you obtain this stuff. And I'm going to take it out in a big scoop just so I can show you guys exactly what it looks like. But here it is. There. That's what it looks like. Sort of looks like flour. Uh, it has sort of a powdery feel. But all I really need is one gram of it. And then the other thing I was doing wrong last time is Dr. David Sinclair repeatedly says that he takes something fatty with his resveratrol and NMN to make it work better. He specifically said he just mixes in a little bit of yogurt. So that's what I'm going to be doing from now on is mixing in yogurt. And I've been going on with this for about, I don't know, uh, I guess it's been about a month now, but this time I'm going to go a long time and report to you guys what the results are. 
There you go, guys. That's where I am on my current anti-aging uh, experimentation. And I'll report back to you in about six months how it goes. Uh, I will link to the resveratrol and vitamin D and K and even to the NMN in the video description, though. you got to make sure that if NMN is being shipped to you, that it gets shipped quickly. Because once again, it should be kept cool. On that note, hope this was useful to you. Subscribe and hit that like button if it was. Can't taste it.